instructor listening in secretly in simulated intake assignment, allowed, ethical. This question is about an online, accredited, public, post-baccalaureate degree program. I think it's the first time my instructor is teaching a university course, at least at this institution. The class is small. The assignment was to do a simulated intake phone call. The instructor said he had found someone to play the part of a potential client. We were supposed to have a simulated phone intake call with this person. She would give us her basic demographic information and the reason she was seeking legal and advocacy services, and we were supposed to probe for more information about the problem she was seeking help with, because the pretend client had been instructed not to volunteer all the important information on her own. We were to use a specified Excel template for the data and notes, and then we were supposed to write a letter to the client, and we were supposed to hand in both things. The instructor provided feedback for my homework. I asked for clarification about some of his feedback, because he referenced some things that I had included in the notes section, but not in the letter to the client section of my homework submission. When I read his response, I eventually came to understand that he had listened in secretly to the phone intake call. He had not made clear in the assignment instructions that he would be listening in. This made me uncomfortable. But I don't know if my reaction is reasonable. Are there any typical institutional guidelines, or ethical considerations, that would help me figure this out? I'm not sure whether this is something to let the program chair know about, or whether I need to adjust my own expectations. I did let the instructor know a polite version of how I felt. I hope that for future semesters you'll make clear that you'll be listening in on the call. I, for one, would be more comfortable knowing this ahead of time. The response, I don't find this necessary. It should be presumed I am listening in on the assignment I provided so I can accurately grade. Note, I don't know why he didn't just play the part of the potential client himself. Clarifications, the school is in New York State, part of the Sunny system. From the exchange we had, I'm confident he only listened, and didn't record. Further clarification. I thought we would be evaluated and graded on the written submission, spreadsheet plus letter. I thought that the work done in the intake conversation would be apparent in the written submission. I thought that the assignment involved sorting out the more important bits from the less important bits, and organizing the important bits in a clear presentation. Let's walk back from the quasi-legal analysis, please. I am hoping to focus on what's allowed by university policy at at least one sample institution and what's allowed by relevant professional organizations. And where I wrote, aloud, I'm also interested in what's ethical. I have to side with your professor here. You did not have a private phone conversation. You had a simulated conversation with a person you knew to be a fake client with the purpose of evaluating your skill. If the professor listens into the conversation that means he will evaluate you himself instead of relying on the person he got to play the potential client. This is good for you. I honestly don't see what the problem is. You did something that you knew to be a test, so your professor gets to see, hear it to evaluate you. If instead of doing this over the phone this would have been a live interview, would you feel different about your professor listening in?